session hijacking in this tutorial we're going to learn about session hijacking so what is session hijacking basically session hijacking means stealing that cookie which authenticate you on a server which contains all your login credentials now to apply session hijacking we will be using man in the middle for now let me tell you something about this http https and ports now basically when you open a site like facebook.com it translates into http column forward slashes face www.facebook.com but when you enter your login credentials it turns into https semicolon forward slashes www.facebook.com so what is this s here this means it's it is now secured server ssl which means secure socket layer now your http works on port 80 and your ssl works on port 443 okay so now for session hijacking if the facebook redirects you to the ssl layer, uh, ssl server to the secure server now it uh, encrypts your login credentials so now uh, you cannot decrypt it so to uh, make this session hijacking work what we will do is not allow the facebook to redirect it to the four uh, port number 443 and redirect it to another port that is 8080 which is our an alternative which is an alternative to port 80 and works for http okay sorry S http okay so how are we gonna do this just let's see what basically uh, session hijacking means this is a normal circumstances in this the users connect through a modem to internet but when a hacker comes into play what he's gonna do is make the user's computer think that the hacker's pc is the modem now all the data the users which uh, he was going to send to the modem will send to the hacker and the hacker will send it to the modem now hacker will gain all the access all the live session which is going on the user on his computer how it is done let's see first for this we will need ssl strip to install ssl strip we will use this command okay just a sec paste now it is downloading the ssl strip now we will unzip this ssl strip now we will change our directory to the unzipped files and here we go now we will install ssl strip this ssl strip comes to install default in the uh, backtrack 5r3 but it's better to install the latest version because the previous was giving you some errors now we will open the eater.conf these two things ssl strip and eater caps are the two basic software that we are going to use to do our session hijacking this g dot g edit will work in gnome environment ours is kde so we so we will use kwrite copy Okay, sorry. Yeah, here is the file. Here, you need to change these two values to zero. I have already done this. So whatever it is written here, you need to change them to zero. Then we move next to IP tables. Now, if you use IP table, these are commented like this you need to uncomment them means move the hashes then save 
Okay. Now what we are going to do is we will tell our computer, our PC, to forward the ports, to forward the IP addresses. For this, we will do this. Okay. To check if the ports, uh, if the IP address is forward or not, we can do this. The value one means the IP addresses are forwarded. If it comes to zero, then uh, there is some error, and you need to run it again. Now, this lines. What does this mean? This is basically when the users, all the cookies and uh, the traffic from the user will come to us, and uh, we will read uh, come to us. Uh, we will redirect that eighty four to eight zero eighty eighty. That is because we are not letting the traffic to go to 443 to the secured SSL server. We are redirecting it to the 8080. This line will do that. Now running the SSL strip on port 8080. Okay. Yeah, it's running. Now running ethercap. Now this target gateway is the address of the gateway mine is 8.0.1 target IP now I will find out the target IP okay. this is the modem pit now I am going to target this PC this is my windows environment and this 09 is the backtrack on virtual machine so both of them are sharing sharing the same mac address okay now 12.168.0.5 and the interface here i'm using ethernet The ARP poisoning has started. Now I will go back to my Windows environment and will show you how it is doing. Okay. Now here is Facebook open. Let's put anything in this. Testing. Testing. Login. Let's see if we get anything here. Nothing for now. Okay. Just check. Okay, so let's now try it. Login. Okay, it's gave an error, but I think we should get the password. Yep, it's here. Let me show you clearly. User testing, password testing, information from facebook.com. Okay, let's try again. Now this time I will put an S here. Okay. 
testing testing login gain an error but let's see nothing there is nothing because this time we forcefully send the request on a secured server and nothing is here but again if we remove the s from here it will not automatically redirect it to a secure server and by putting anything here we give you the credentials now everything should be clear by now and thanks for watching the video bye bye